better fucking hide. The UFO is somewhere over there. And that mutant is no doubt trying to lure us into an ambush. Magistrix, you shall receive a medkit as well. We will not rush in there like fools. Not anymore. Uh, here we go. Heal, wound. But of whom? How do I change this up? I can't change it up. Why can't I change it up? You. Come on. I can't select him. Why not? Alright. This is weird. Rag zeal. Um, behind this, I guess. Can you please try to heal this guy? Now he is selected. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. There we go. Of course, now Rag Seal is not within any cover whatsoever. But you can't have everything. Careful, people. That guy is still out there. Rock and roll! He is probably attempting to regroup. He is probably already stumbled across across a freaking cross blah. He has probably already come across other fellow mutants. They are just waiting for an opportunity to kill us all. Bring it! I dare you! Fucking bring it, all of you! Zeal. I want everybody on the fucking front line again. I'm ready. Last but not least, you, Magistrix. Not really any cover for you. Be careful, though. You hear that? That bastard is either trying to make his way back to the UFO, or he is trying to flank us. Look sharp, enemies rolling up. Oh dear. What the fuck is that guy? He has run off into the fog of war, but first of all, did you see how far he was able to move? Second, blood red armor, as red as fucking blood, crimson blood, and also fully armored. Not just body armor, the entire face of that thing was, oh Jesus Christ, I don't know what kind of mutant that is supposed to be, but the very appearance of that guy, uh, oh gosh. Not good news by any means. Not good news at all. Lamia, darling, not even Squad Side is allowing you to see that bugger. Let me guess, probably because this one fucking tree is in your way. Because, you know, why the hell not? It would be a ridiculous reason like that. Can you see it? No. Nobody can see it. Why the fuck am I not surprised? Ah, and that guy just survived that blow completely. Anyone else? Anyone who wants to try their luck today? Not that it matters with that red guy out there. Not at all. Blame me, darling. I just don't believe this. Of course, now she can see it, but now it is too late. You cannot move and fire and blah 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 blah. And with her pistol, she can't see it. Nope. Sniper rifle, squad side only. Oh, this is such a disaster. 
the red guy will approach us from the very flank, so to speak. And the green guy will simply fire away because everybody is unable to shoot. Unable to hit their mark. I can already feel the grenade incoming. I can so feel it. Uh, run and gun won't help us out here either. Too many dashing moves. The only thing everyone can do is dash. Oh, he is so going to kill somebody. Let me tell you all that much. A grenade? Come on! Eat that pistol reaction shot. Let it chip away at your health. Who is going to die now? Of course it was a hit. He couldn't have missed. No. He couldn't have missed. What so freaking ever. Skytharia is almost dead. Well, that tree is a goner. Ugh, you fucking mutant scum. This episode is already getting too long, but what choice do I have? Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you all that question. What fucking choice do I have? Everybody is missing. Alright, that's it. We are going to die, either way. We cannot win this. Magistrix, you are going to die, my friend. But if you are going to die, then you are at least going to die with honor. Ah! You fucking scumbag! Bet you didn't see this one coming! Very, very pleasant. Next up, Raxiel. You can try to hit him, but your chances of success are too slim. Way too fucking slim. Instead... Let it be Rose Thorn. What? That was a... Did I once again not pay any attention? That was a dashing move. Oh, fuck you. You know what? Just fuck you. I so don't care about what's happening right now. I don't care at all. I don't care anymore. Bye -bye. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He is incoming. The red sucker. Is that a second one? Oh, boy. Oh my god. They're repositioning! Help! 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 They're backing up! They're back. Get me out of here! Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? Normally I am a fella who has lots and lots of patience. Lots and lots and freaking lots of patience. I am also not at all feeling mad after the freaking abomination that was my experiment in terms of changes, giving enemies more health, increasing costs and blah 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 blah. I really can't blame the game whatsoever. All of what just happened is my fault and my fault entirely. Sure, my very soul just decided to miss to no end. But this difficulty is just insane. I mean, you need to shoot satellites up as early as freaking possible. The game doesn't really tell you that. Maybe it tells you, but it isn't making clear how important it is. Then these strong fuckers just appear out of the damn woodwork. No warning. 
No, nothing. Sure, within the original XCOM it was the same, but what I am trying to say here, what all of my rambling is slowly but surely leading up to, following Lamia Bisbee's death, I'd say that this playthrough is doomed. We can still try to win this mission, but Lamia Bisbee is dead. I won't even acknowledge it, no. <laughs> I won't acknowledge it, not at all. My fiance is immortal, right? <laughs> she is not dead. Nah, she isn't dead at all. I would never accept that. This was just an imposter who tried to be my fiance, and I played along. I wanted to give this random female, once known as Leroy, a chance. A chance at glory. But now she failed. Nobody could be as amazing as Lamy Abyssaby. <laughs> That's just crazy. Yeah. We are not getting out of this alive. The last month was the final good month. But we are not <laughs> getting out of this alive. There's one mutant there. One red abomination there. We are not getting out of this alive. Lay me out busy be fucking <laughs> I've got nothing. Intimidate. What the hell? What is he? What is this? What is even? You, you missed from so close. Oh. Well, Magistrix is a goner. Magistrix is just going to die. Unexpected. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I don't even fucking care. All I know is that this guy is intimidating our soldiers apparently, thus making them panic. Rose just panicked and accidentally shot that mutant, thus saving Skytharia's life. We are going to lose Magistrix in three turns, which is a shame we hardly knew him. Good sir, I don't know what the fuck you are supposed to be. I really don't know. I just don't know and quite frankly I don't care. All I know is that he is still breathing. Yes, he is still breathing. Can anybody still do anything? Well, Skythari, I can try to shoot. Wow. Help! Help! Someone help! Are you trying to kill our own people, you fool? Oh my gosh, people, can you please stop panicking? This is getting ridiculous. Does Skytharia need to do everything here? Yes, looks like he certainly needs to do everything. Because everyone else is incompetent as all hell. Just have my pistol, just fucking eat it. This is the end of XCOM. I don't even care.
To stabilize, you need to stand above somebody, eh? Huh. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Back online. I didn't know that. Reloaded. Hey, you hear anything? Oh, oh, my He's God. gone. Get me out of here. You need to stand on top of somebody to stabilize them, eh? But just Trix is gone. Three soldiers remain. And even if we survive this mission, we lost arguably our two best soldiers. How high are our chances to survive future missions, terror missions in particular? Ah. Well, we had a good run, didn't we? <laughs> this episode is getting much longer than expected. But only because I didn't think that it would result in so much misery. Like, at the moment I don't even know whether I should continue because failure is inevitable. There are just moments in life where you need to understand that even if you try, it would ultimately not result in any success. <laughs> to think that this would happen. When in the original XCOM I had so much luck all the freaking time. This game though is punishing me left and right. Quite frankly, when I saw Lamia Bisbee die, something inside of me died as well. And you want to know is right? Like, you want to know what died inside of me? The very motivation to continue playing. Ugh. I am just going to end it here. There is no doubt going to be another episode after this one. There is no point in retreating. If we retreat, panic will increase, or satellites will get shot down. There's just no point in saving these people. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play XCOM Enemy Unknown. We had a good run, about over 50 episodes, but looks like this is where things shall come to a screeching halt. A sudden end. <sighs> it pains me. Yes, certainly it pains me, but let me just say to all of those who have been sticking around, up until now, you ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very, very, very much. We experienced highs, we experienced lows, the last monthly report being the greatest high, this very mission right after being the highest low. But overall, I'd say we had a nice run, even though we didn't even get the chance to accomplish our first primary objective, that was certainly, or is certainly, embarrassing. <laughs> I suppose there's only one question <clears throat> you are all asking yourselves right now. Mr. TSC, if this playthrough fails, which it will, I guarantee it, will you do a second one? Yes. I will definitely do a second one. Because, let's face it, I died here today due to my own fault. Changing the game, not playing it the way it was meant to be played, making it unnecessarily more difficult and everything. And blur. And sigh. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> my humble name is Mr. TSC, aka The Shadow Cookie, and there will be a second playthrough. Probably right after this one. I still have other stuff to finish as well. But quite frankly, right now I am just so all over the place, I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I am derailing myself. Ah. Thank you for listening if you are still here. 
to all the rookies who might not get the chance to serve, you will be taken over to the next playroom. To all of those who didn't get drawn out of the raffle ball yet, you will <coughs> get your chance right at the very beginning. Because we will obviously need to recruit new people. Until then, until next time, which might be the final episode of this first playthrough. As I said already, my humble name is Commander TSC. Thank you all for watching my Let's Play. I appreciate it to no end. Thank you all for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope I didn't make too much of a fool out of myself. Until next time. Yeah. Signing out for now. And one final time, lay me a busy bee. Darling, this was an imposter. You are not dead. <laughs> and why am I still saying that? Well, as I stated already, when you died, when the soldier <laughs> died, my motivation to continue playing died as well, which is why I simply decided to rush in, which is why we got torn apart. This bloody red guy didn't even do anything other than intimidating my people. I know, I know, I know. I am rambling now, as all hell, as always. This is going nowhere. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, certainly, until next time. I need to see fucking Dr. Steinman again. The Binding of Isaac, where are you? My mind is going crazy. I desire the very solitude of my cell, my holding cell with the rubber walls and everything. Ah, the world is doomed.